Hi there, Jared here from KeywordGrouper.com. I wanted to put together a video. Um, a customer asked me about my keyword grouping strategy number two, and I wanted to go further in depth on how that works using AdWords Editor and copying the shell of the ad groups into Excel and then using those ad group names to basically pluck out keywords from your keyword uh, list that's in, an, in a group called sort. So here's how it works. Basically, let me pull up AdWords Editor here. Um, let's say the first takeaway is when you're grouping keywords, here's a little, a little tip. There's these things called seed terms. So if you look at these, this keyword list over here, if you had to guess what the seed term is, it's basically insurance. So if insurance, it's like the exact thing it's the, the thing that's broken down to the very minimal thing about what it is. And in this case, it's insurance. But we could have different types of insurance, right? Car insurance. In fact, I, I created a small list here of potential uh, groups. Death insurance, family, liability, builder's risk, homeowners, and so on. These are all different types of insurance. So let me quickly... Um, I, I didn't want to undo all these groups that are here because I wanted you to see what the current structure looks like. But if you take all these keywords, which I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag them into the sort group. So now all the keywords are in the ad group called sort. So I'm just going to delete all these ad groups by hitting the delete key since there are no keywords in those groups anymore. So it's like we're starting over, right? Now you go up to Tools, and you go up to Keyword Grouper, and then here's your list. And what it's going to do, the logic of Keyword Grouper within AdWords Editor is not very smart. So for example, um, let's find the word home. Here, actually, I'll do it in text because I can actually search. So if we type in home, there's home at the top of the list, right? Well, let's keep looking for home. There's mobile home. So the problem with having home at the top of the list is it's going to pull out anything with home in it first, and that includes mobile home. So mobile home won't have its won't have any keywords in that group because they were all pulled out because it looked at home, it found all the keywords with home in it and it created a group from that. And inside that home group is going to be mo mobile home and mobile home won't have an ad group when it's done. So uh, you got to prioritize from top to bottom the way your ad groups um, should be should basically be created. So what I like to do is group uh, vehicle, truck, I just kind of group this with car and just make sure that they're around the same proximity to one another within the list from highest to lowest. And uh, I think there's vehicle, okay, so auto, you know. I'm not going to go into detail about how to prioritize your list, but you want to be thinking about, okay, if they're going to take, if it's going to take home out of all the keywords, then that's going to affect the group mobile home because it has home in it, right? So you have to put this as a priority over this before you actually group. So I'm just going to say that this list is good. What you do is you paste them in there like that and then hit next. Okay, now we preview it and you can see that there's a lot of stuff to preview here, but family insurance, what do we have here? Um, liability insurance, and so on. So let's just go ahead and hit finish. This will create all those ad groups. From there, let's say we were getting new keywords. So while that's working, I'm going to go ahead and um, I, I already did some searches for car insurance, boat insurance, life insurance, motorcycle insurance. These are the ad groups. I'm just going to add all of them just for the sake of time. Let's say we were trying to get a new keyword list. So we would copy all these keywords to the clipboard 
and then we would go over here, we would see that our add groups are now created, right? And then we would have still have this sort group. This is everything else that that wasn't grouped. So for the sake of uh, time, I'm just going to delete all of those keywords from that sort group because I want to put all the keywords that I just found from the Google AdWord Keyword Planner into this group. Okay, so I'm putting it into the sort group because that's the whole purpose of showing you this. It's to show you that you can use the ad group structure to group keywords. And so we have this from the Google AdWords Keyword Planner, right? And then what we do with an AdWords editor is we select all the ad groups on the ad groups tab. We copy ad group shell and then we open up Excel. So what the copy ad group shell does is it doesn't copy all the keywords or the ads within the ad group. It just copies what you see, the table here within the ad groups tab. Then in Excel you just paste it and now you have basically that shell of your ad groups. And what I like to do is just, you don't really need any of these columns, you don't even have to delete them, you just need the ad group column here. The problem is it's sorted alphabetically, so once again we have to look for, for example, mobile home, and we need to prioritize that above the word home. And it's probably a better idea to keep a prioritized list saved somewhere in some text file, for example, but let's just say that um, we're just going to go forward with this. It's all prioritized. Go into AdWords Editor. Just remember these are the keywords from the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Now what we do is go to Keyword Grouper again, and it's kind of the same process. You just hit this, next, and that will pluck out all of the keywords um, that were relevant to your ad groups that you currently have. And so now we have 434, where we started with 800. So this kind of gives you a good idea of how to apply keyword grouping strategy number two by using the ad group shell to come up with the ad group um, structure using one and two word phrases and then throw your keywords in that sort group, use keyword grouper to pluck them out and group them accordingly. So that does it for this video. Thanks a lot.